just wrapped up charging out on Northerly Island. So this is a pretty spectacular place to charge up. There's one charge point charger out here. Uh, it's taken a lot of the time, obviously, because the view's spectacular. <laughs> it's just a good place to charge up. It's a little bit out of the way. Um, this land used to be the former Miggs Field. So it was actually an airstrip right on, off of uh, the lake in downtown Chicago. But now they do concerts out here. There's a walking trail, little pond thing in the middle, and this pretty cool charging station. So yeah, if I've got some spare time um, and catch up on emails, it's a really good place to charge up. But today's video, um, it's been getting dark here early. So I've noticed like there's this uh, haze on my windshield. It's not on the outside of the windshield, it's on the inside of the windshield. So I wanna get that taken care of. It comes back every couple weeks. I'm very diligent about clean windows in my car and this haze just keeps coming back and it's driving me crazy, especially at night with the street lights and everything. I think it's gonna be a little hard to capture on camera, but that's okay. I'm just gonna show you how I'm cleaning this stuff off. And I figured out why it keeps reappearing basically that new car smell that we get is all the plastics in the car off gassing and as you know there's tons and tons of plastic in a tesla and it's all brand new plastic so it's kind of off gassing and it's rising up and it's hitting the windshield and it's leaving this little hazy film on it so i want to get rid of that um when i was 16 i worked at a car wash they taught me how to box out the windows. At least that's what they called it. So that's the technique I'm gonna use to do it. I do have a funky little gadget that I bought on Amazon. I'll link to that. It's just, it's probably one of the stupider things I bought, but it's actually super, super handy and I kinda love it now. But it's just a wand that holds like this microfiber cloth and I clean the windshield with that. And it makes it really easy because the windshield's very deep in this car. And it's also really good for the sunroofs and uh, the back window as well. So works great. Anyway, here's my technique. I hope it helps you guys. Buy this little gadget though. I don't get any anything for it. I just think it's a good thing to buy. You can toss it in your trunk, take it out when you need it. Um, I also use the uh, Rain-X glass cleaner. Um, and I'll just walk you through the whole process. All right, here we go. So this is exactly where we're at on the map. So it's a really cool location. So right off of downtown Chicago, you've got the harbor over here, uh, Northerly Island, that's where they do concerts. And then this cool walking path, you can go all the way around. I don't know, it's maybe a mile and a half loop or so. And then nice little pond in the middle, close to uh, Adler Planetarium too. So yeah, it's a really cool spot to get uh, all charged up. I like it a lot. Um, right in front of us is the old uh, terminal for when this was Miggs Field. So this was an airport landing strip at one point. Uh, the elder Mayor Daly, under the cover of night, right after 9-11, came out with some Caterpillar D-11s and tore this place up. So planes can't land here anymore. So that's why it's more of a concert venue and walking path now. And they even kept the old control tower over there, which is really cool. Looks like something I would have had in an old Lego set back in the day. But anyway, let's get to cleaning these windows. They're a mess. I'm gonna get the camera set up. All right, so it is kind of a multi-step process depending on how bad they are. I'm just gonna go through the second part. Um, one, because I've done the first part <laughs> last time. I don't think I need to redo it again, but Here's that little doodad I was talking about. Um, Invisible glass makes this one. You can get them on Amazon, they're like 10 bucks. But the whole thing breaks down so you can store it really easily. Super simple, it's got these uh, bonnets that pop off of it. Um, and you get two or three, I think, with the package. And then you can buy extra ones if you need them. But it's just really handy. <laughs> it is one of the dumbest looking things, but really well built and it gets all the way down in the front of the glass so it's really helpful in here sunroof the rear window the side windows all that stuff so these things are great um multi-step process if it's pretty heavy and hazy you're going to want to take alcohol um just denatured alcohol put it in a little spray bottle spray it onto the bonnet clean it off um, and then come back with your actual window cleaner. And you want an automotive window cleaner. You don't want one with ammonia in it. 
Uh, so do an ammonia free one, streak free, all that kind of stuff, because it will damage your dashboard if you get the ammonia on there. Um, the other thing you want to do and keep in mind is when you're spraying your cleaner, the cleaner I use is uh, this Rain-X uh, automotive glass cleaner. I like this, I've used invisible glass before too, but this is just what I have on hand. This is almost gone, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna buy next, probably whatever's on sale. So anyway, what you wanna do is actually spray it directly onto the cloth. Um, so I'm gonna spray it onto the bonnet, and then I'm just gonna do one half of the window at a time, because I've got the camera in the way. But when I was 16, I worked at uh, Sparkling Finish Car Wash in Peoria, and they taught me how to box out the windows. We didn't have these fancy gadgets, so we did it by hand. Um, so anyway, what I'm doing, I'm just going down all the corners, and then I'll do the middle last. So the nice thing about this device is it kind of self-adjusts, and then you can bring it across, and it gets all the way down there in front, and I'd probably miss that if I had to do it with my hand. Come back up, come across, like that, and then now that I got all the corners, I can just do the middle. Like that, that's so easy. It only takes a few minutes, and I'm gonna have this haze-free windshield tonight. I'm gonna cross hatch it back. I may have applied a little too much of the cleaning fluid. So what I'm gonna do is take another cloth and try and dry that up a little bit so I don't have these streaks. So I'm just taking a kind of thick microfiber cloth. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna be seeing well tonight. All right, let's do the other side real quick. So we'll do this side now. Box everything out. All right, I think that looks pretty darn good. Well, hope I didn't make that look more difficult than it actually is. It's pretty damn easy. Just takes a couple minutes to do every time, especially if you have the right tools. So anyway, thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys. I'll be bringing you more stuff soon. All right, talk to you later. Bye.